my girl's dress. Okay. Hi, Wendy. My name is Kelly. How you doing? How you doing, Kelly? Uh, me and my boyfriend, we went out for four years. We broke up six months ago. So me and his mom got super close. She calls me every day. How do I politely break my friendship with her without hurting her feelings? Just the way you're speaking to me right now, you don't have to ask her, you know, for a lunch or anything like that. Next time she calls you, you say to her, listen, you know, Carol, or Mrs. Brady, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know what you call her. Betty. Betty, listen, Betty, um, you know, your son and I are broken up and I can't maintain relations with you. It's getting in the way. It's, it's not fair to him for, for us to continue. And it's not fair to me because I'm already dating somebody new. <laughs> Or whatever. D don't tell her that part. But you know, <laughs> your delivery is absolutely perfect. So talk to Betty. Okay. Thank All right. You. Very well. Yes. How you doing, Pink? Hi, Wendy. I'm Berlisha. How you doing? Hi, Berlisha. Oh, Wendy, my life. So I've um, been dating this guy mm -hmm. for about three months. Yeah. Thought it was going to be serious, so I gave him the top drawer. Understood. Okay. So of course it's my life. So he turns out to be a total jerk. So I don't want to see him or his stuff ever again. So how do I go about giving him back his things? Do I drop it off at the office? Do I call him? Do I write him a note? Um, do I tell him to come pick it up? What should I do? Well, you definitely don't want him to come to your house. Right. You definitely don't want to linger seeing him. Um, you could put everything in a bag and drop it off at his house. Is there a secure area, maybe inside a locked vestibule? Or, I mean, is it, <laughs> does he have a roommate who can take it from you? No, he doesn't. Okay, so. then why don't you go to the post office and send it through the mail? You have his address. Yes. You have his address. And you know what? Spend the extra money and send it UPS or something. That way, yeah. the record yes. shows that, that you sent it, okay? Yes. Very well. Good luck, Felicia. How are you doing, Pink? How you doing, Wendy? <laughs> How can I help? My name is Jashawn. So I have a 13-year-old son, and I just recently found out through growing through his phone that he has a girlfriend. Uh -huh. Yes, and I also found out that he had his first kiss with this girlfriend. Uh -huh. Right. So, but my husband doesn't think it's a problem, but I do. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to... I feel like I'm upset that I had to find out through his phone and through his text messages. Is that the problem, or is it the problem that he has a girlfriend? No, it's not the problem that he has a girlfriend. It's a problem because he hasn't shared with you. You feel yes. left out. I had to... Snoop. You have to snoop. Mm -hmm. um, well, here's what I would do okay. if I were in your position. I would um, make up a story about when you were 13. Okay. It can be true, but to be more drastic with kids, sometimes you have to make it up. Okay. And, and <laughs> something about how you had a little boyfriend okay. or about how you stole a kiss in the stairwell at school also. Mm. It doesn't make it right. You know, you have to identify with these kids. Okay. So it, it doesn't make it right what he did or what you did. But, son, these are the things... You didn't invent this we game, can son. We with each other. Yeah. Talk to your yeah. mom. I'm down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Exactly. Good luck. How are you? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? My name's Kathy. Hi, um, my son's father and I have been um, separated or split up for 12 years. My son is um, 14, mm -hmm. and he hasn't seen his dad in five years. How come? Um, he, his dad has no connection with him, doesn't contact him. Does dad and, live in the town? Um, it's a couple towns over, okay. close five minutes away. Oh, wow. And um, I wanted my son to um, see him, or I was... I didn't want him to live without regrets, yes. you know. So what do you think I should do? I, I think, first of all, this is a beautiful plan. 14 is a really pivotal age, and your husband's missed, or your ex has missed out on a lot. He might feel awkward right now, you know, after they miss out on one year of life or two years of life. Then after that, I guess, then they just say, well, forget it. You know, the kid, the kid will do fine without me. I think that you should talk to his father very emphatically and let his father know how important it is, you know, at 14. And then... The father should make the plans with the son. So then you stay out of it. You know what I mean? Then the father should come by the house and pick up the son. And, you know, maybe they spend the weekend together. And they just keep this going. But I think dad and son should make the plans. You know, you're the catalyst to make it all happen. Right. But, yes, and this is that perfect time of year. Holidays. Nostalgic. <laughs> yes. Good luck. Cute. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hey, Lindsay. My name is Kayla. How you doing? How you doing, Kayla? I'm well. Okay, so I just got a new job at a sports bar, and my boyfriend thinks it's okay to come in every Sunday and take advantage of my 20% discount. I think it's bad work etiquette, especially since I just started. So how do I tell him to stop coming in without hurting his feelings or seeming like I'm being sneaky at work? Blame it on your boss. Blame it on my boss? <laughs> tell, tell your boyfriend that your boss came to you in 
just, you know, not a mean way, but you could tell that's the first warning, mm. you know, said to you, you know, it's not good for your boyfriend to be here. It's distracting, so on and mm. so forth. So blame, blame it on your boss. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, you're next. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> um, I have a close friend. Lately, growing shade, dismissive, judgmental. I don't know why. I'm only nice to her, but she's How totally old are you? a witch. 38. 38. Mm-hmm. Well, you need to dump her. Okay. <laughs> and, and the only reason why I took a deep breath and hesitated is because I'm surprised that you don't know that yet at 38. That, that friends have a yeah. reason and a season. And when they give you a reason to dump them, that's the season. All right. <laughs> okay. How are you doing, Wendy? My name is David. Hi, David. How you doing? How you doing? Good. My wife and I have been together for five years and married for one. There's a local ice cream guy who drives around our neighborhood, and he gives my wife free ice cream for her and my kids. As a man, I think it's a bit inappropriate, and he might have a crush on her. But should I confront him, or should I just let it go? Keep him out of it. The person you need to confront is your wife. As a matter of fact... As a matter of fact, I want to confront your wife because to me, why is she even sharing this information with you? Like, girls, when little things happen to us because a guy might, you know, be sweet on us, not hitting on us, we don't tell our men. You take advantage of a freebie. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah, don't, don't be mad at him. Talk to her, but don't be mad at anybody. What are you doing, Red? Hi, Wendy. I'm Keisha. How you doing? Hi, Keisha. Hi. <laughs> Wendy, I got a question for okay. you. I just started dating a brand new guy in August. He's my boo. I mean, I really feel him. But he doesn't like my best friend. We've been friends for like 10 years, and we travel out of town all the time, and he hates it. And I'm wondering, is this a red flag? Should I be concerned? It is a red flag. But it depends on what you want out of life. You know what I mean? Do you love this guy? Do you love each other yet? Yes. You do. Yes. Um, uh, does your girlfriend... Why doesn't he like her, her? Well, she's a good girl. She's married. We party all the time, though. We do. We travel and we party. We party girls. Oh, yeah. um, it depends on what you want out of life. I mean, she's married, so it's not like she's flitting around town as a single right, woman. Right. So. Um, I think that you need to talk to your man and figure out how you can rectify this. And then if you have to choose between one or the other, which one do you choose? Uh-oh. I'm just saying, get ready. Get ready for the choice? Get ready. Okay. Okay? Thanks, All Wendy. Right. You're very welcome, Keisha. How you doing? Hey, Wendy, how you doing? I'm Daniel. Yes, so... you are. <laughs> So I have a coworker. We were really, really close okay. until she snitched on me, telling my manager that I take longer breaks sometimes than usual. Okay. And now she's always throwing me under the bus. Okay. How do I fix this while staying professional? There is no fix it. There's no fixing that. I mean, if you have to choose between her and your paycheck, which one do you choose? My paycheck. Okay. Girl. Then there, there, paycheck. there is no choosing, and this will learn you. You don't make friends at work. You make people that you have to get along with between yeah. nine and five. She's a little snake. Yes. <laughs> A lot of times, co-workers are snakes. Yeah. Okay? Good luck. Thank you. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name's Jeanette. How you doing? Good, Jeanette. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend uh, knew that my boyfriend was cheating on me. Oh. Uh, yeah, she didn't say anything to me. I confronted her. Uh, she got upset with me and stopped talking to me altogether. Wait, why'd you confront her, not him? Oh, I did confront oh. him, but I, I was questioning her loyalty. Okay, okay. Um, and now, it's been a few months, and... Her man is cheating on her. Oh. So do I say something or sit back and watch karma work? Sit back and watch the show. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seven. Let me just... Oh, wait, wait. Okay. We'll talk to right. commercial. How you right. doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Alvita. How you doing? Hi, Alvita. How can I help? Well, today... I want to speak about how my husband got a job a, a job with a great company, huge company, and now we have to relocate to another state. However, I just started my business, and now I want to know, should I stay here or should I go support my man? Oh, God. Uh, separated marriages only work for about a second before somebody starts to get bored. I'm not saying cheating. I'm just saying gets bored, gets in. Uh, so where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And where is he going? We're going to Michigan. Michigan. Uh. Um, and, and who makes more money? He does. Okay. Right and, now. And you're just starting your business? Yes. And how many children? I have one. One. How old? One. Mm. <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. What? Go with your man. Okay, Wendy. And, and, and start your business in Michigan. Okay, Wendy. Okay, yeah. 
<laughs> Long distance doesn't work, and you don't have to do it. So go with, go with, I'm sorry. Okay, Wendy, Goodbye. thank you. Thank you. Oh, Rita. How are you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name's Alex. How are you doing? Hi, Alex. <laughs> Uh, so I'm a freshman in college, and my problem is that my roommate is a complete slob. And it's gotten to the point where I have to step over her clothes to get to my own bed. Uh -huh. And not only that, but she never leaves the room, so I can't have friends over. Okay. And I've talked to her about it, but she doesn't seem to listen. She doesn't fix anything. Mm -hmm. So is it time that I go to my RA? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> you go to your RA, Alex, unfortunately, and also, you know, you choose better next year. Yeah. This you know, is random. So. It, very random. <laughs> Just yeah. deal with it. Don't make problems. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Go to your RA and complain. Bring your RA in the room when your roommate's not there so the RA can witness the scene of the crime. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Okay. All right. Good luck, Alex. Great, thank you. How you doing? How you doing? You having a good time? I'm having a great time. I love you. Thank you for being here. How can I help? So my name is Jasmine. I'm a plus size woman and I have an extremely handsome boyfriend. We've been together for like three years. Oh, he's not here. Okay. <laughs> He's not, oh, he, um, we've been together for like three years, and honestly, he's like the sexiest man I've ever been with in my life. I love him, we're happy, we're great. But the thing is, when we go out to dinner, all these skinny women, they throw themselves at him. And they look at me like... What do you mean throw? What does that like, mean? Like, literally, I've ha I had an ex-co-worker who went to him and was like, Sh you're too good for her. you like, you should go out to dinner with me. Like, literally, like, and he told me about it. And he loves every inch about me. And, and I'm, I mean, no, I get it. And these women, numbers and they try to talk to him i don't know if like next time this happens should i say something or should well, I my opinion it? is is that people come on to people when people don't put up the proper blockage you know what i'm saying you're not the only one with a hot man mm. in this audience okay <gasps> and i venture to say most of us men don't get approached like that when we're with them that's your man Tell him to stop with the eye con Like, you need to talk to your man about this. But it's not. Like, he, he loves me, and we're great together. It's yeah, just, it's dear, literally. Dear, dear, how, <laughs> how old are you, dear? 26. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> it, it, it's your man and some sort of signal that he's throwing. Clap if you, if you don't agree, don't clap, but clap if you agree. <laughs> it's got to be something. It's, it's got to be something, Jack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, like, he's such a great person. Everyone loves him. He has well, so many friends. Well, maybe he needs to stop the, maybe smiling he's too friendly, so much. But he, exactly. And like, but it's never in a bad way. He's such, like, he's just, everyone loves him. He's a great person. Talk to your man. This is his fault. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How, you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Fine, thank you. Great. My name is Sally. I have an 18-year-old daughter in college away, and she is she's wanting to move into an apartment her sophomore year. She's a freshman right now. Okay. So what do you think? She doesn't have a job, and I am thinking maybe she needs to get a job. So do you think I should be able to co-sign or not? She yes. <laughs> she should get a part-time job. Mm -hmm. In college, sometimes, depending on the kid, part-time means, like, only a couple of days a week if the studies are real stressful. Yes. Um, and, yes, that's your obligation. Okay. As long as she's doing well in school, yeah, you co-sign. Yeah. But not on a mansion. Oh, no, 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 no. Just an apartment. Yes. One bedroom. Uh-huh. And no more than $600 And month. no hot water. Like, of there, you know what I mean? Of like, course. budget. <laughs> yes. Very yes. well. Okay, thank you. All right. How are you doing? How are you doing, How Wendy? You doing? Very, mother, daughter? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Gail. This is my daughter, Danielle. Danielle I... recently got engaged. She's my, own, she's my only... Congratulations! She's my only daughter, my little baby. And Danielle and her fiancé have been planning their wedding. And I've been feeling a little left out, so I've wanted to be involved more. And whenever I do, I, I ask questions, she gets a little annoyed. So my question to you is, uh -huh. how can I be more involved without being the momzilla that she thinks I am? <laughs> I want her involved later on, like for the dress and the invitations and the florist. But right now, my fiancé and I, you know, are taking care of the big things ourselves, and we just want to enjoy this time What are these stress. big things? Like the venue, where it is, the welcome party, the band, and that. That's it. And you promise to include your mother in on more of the oh, fun yeah. stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need her. Well, I don't want to do The it. dress shopping is always fun. They give you champagne and hors d'oeuvres oh, and everything. Do? This is yeah. the stressful <laughs> stuff that we just want to do because we're a little stress-free and everything's going smoothly. Okay. So. so, but you'll include your mother? Yes, of course. Hang in I, there, I Mom. How long have you been engaged? Uh, just about a month. Oh, Ma, please. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Things are just getting started. Yeah. Hang in there, Mom. You're right. Congratulations, You're right. Danielle. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good. How you doing? 
doing, Wendy? Very well. <laughs> How can I help? Well, I'm Derek, and this is my girlfriend, Carmina. We've been dating about, uh, about a year and a half, and um, she's constantly asking me questions about my past, my past relationships, and she want to go into a lot of detail about my Still, past Carmina? relationships. Still, Carmina? No, no. Well, I just want to know, uh, you know, about the kind of girls he used to date. I want to know if I'm sexier, if I'm cuter, do I need to, you know, dress it up, look okay? I mean, I just, you know, it's that, com you know, we just... No. No? <laughs> no. No, Carmina, I don't know. No. Uh, it's been it's been a year and a half. Yes. Um, it, it's not necessary for you to know anything else about your girlfriend. Do you have any kids with any ex-girlfriends? Yes. Okay. Does she know about that? Everything. Okay. What else do you need to know? He's with you. Stop overthinking it. <laughs> Carmina. <laughs> Stop overthinking. All right. Very well. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Aramis. How you doing? Hi, Aramis. Like the fragrance from like, back in the day. Yes, just like the cologne. Men's oh, cologne. okay. So, my daughter is 14 years old. She's a freshman in high school. She's become curious about my sex life. So, she wants to know if her father was my first, what age I first had sex, mm -hmm. and I've been brushing her off, but at the moment, I want to know if I should just tell her the truth. What do you think? Not the exact truth. Okay. <laughs> you know, if the first time you had sex is when you were 13, okay. don't tell her that. <laughs> Make it something more respectable, like 18. Okay. And then... Uh, tell her, honestly, no, your father wasn't the first, but she doesn't need to know how many people between your first and her father. Okay, makes sense. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I just feel like, you know, these kids these days, they want to know stuff, and the more we lie to them, the more that they will see us as being... Um, it's like a betrayal. A betrayal, mm -hmm. and then they won't talk to us. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Good luck, Aaron. Okay. okay? How you doing? Wendy, my name is Susan. How are you doing? Good, Susan. Um, I graduated law school last year, and I've been practicing law the past several months. And I, <laughs> I, 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 ab I absolutely hate it, particularly <laughs> um, the billable hours, the demand when I'm a single mother of a young son, and I want to just give it all up and go back to school to do software engineering. Do you think that's a good idea? Okay, wait, no. What made you go to law school to begin with? Your parents pushed uh, you? No, I thought I was going to save the world, and it didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm helping people make money, and I don't... <laughs> See, I feel bad for people like you. You know what I mean? Because you put in all that work and all that schooling, and, and now you've okay. got student loans, and, and you hate your career. Should you go back to school for software? I'm not sure. That's more money that you have to put out. Yeah. But... Follow your heart, whatever that is. Fo follow your heart. Okay. All right. Thank I'm you. Sorry about the law school thing. Wow. Thank you for watching.